When Binde, a mother of four, became a widow at age 22, she lost the man she loved, the father to her children, and the family's sole breadwinner. It will affect my family, kill me man. The loss of my man, destroy her. Then to no source of income, because I demand I make out source of income, not the host. Then I will don't die, I not get no source of income again. Disturb the Lord, the food, the clothing, also the school fees, that all, then that will be the pay for them. Then now, I made it one. Today, Bende and her neighbors in tree planting Sierra Leone, a community that was hit hard by the Ebola crisis, are receiving cash payments that will help them pay for food and schooling for their children, or to start new trades that will support their families for years to come. These cash transfers are part of a multifaceted approach to help the people of Guinea, Liberia and Sierra Leone recover from Ebola. The World Bank Group, through its Fund for the Poorest, IDA, and its private sector arm, IFC, is helping the countries recover and rebound across all sectors. Nearly half of the $1.2 billion provided by IDA comes from its crisis response window. One sign of recovery is farmers returning to their fields. The people of Nyonguya, Guinea, build their lives on farming mangoes, pineapples, and other fruits and vegetables. When Ebola ripped through the community, farming stalled. The World Bank Group, along with partners like the FAO, has provided 10,500 tons of maize and rice seed and fertilizer to more than 200,000 farmers in Guinea, Liberia and Sierra Leone to replant their crops. As farmers await the harvest, other businesses are also seeing the activity pick up. IFC, a member of the World Bank Group, has invested in the construction of a Vitafoam mattress factory in Sierra Leone that was completed just as the Ebola crisis reached its peak. Ebola severely disrupted factory operations, but today the factory is abuzz with activity and is offering jobs to more Sierra Leoneans. Olive is a tailor at the factory. With her earnings, she takes care of herself, her mother and her niece. Her goal is to become a manager at Vitafoam. Congratulations to the people that bought Vitafoam here because some of us have jobs now where we can learn on. Me and my family, so I want to say thanks to them. The country's schools, after closing for months, have reopened to prepare the next generation for jobs in Guinea, Liberia and Sierra Leone. At Hope Kindergarten School in Buchanan, Liberia, teachers are catching students up on the lessons they missed when schools were closed. By feeding the children at school, they are ensuring that students stay in school, are fed and have food to take home. Well, it's very important to feed the kids at school because you know, most of them, their parents are not working and most of them don't come to school with recess or lunch. My father not have money to give me recess and he is not working. Ida, with the World Food Program, is supporting these meals. The countries are focused on making sure that kids go back to school and that people who need health care return to the health facilities that they avoided during the Ebola outbreak. During Ebola, it was really difficult for both us and the patients. The patients were afraid of us, we were afraid of the patients. Health workers have died at a higher rate than any other population group. Now, as their fear subsides, people are returning to health facilities for essential health services. You mean that coming back at a hospital, you can even see the number of patients now on the bed. They are still coming. They are coming back now because they are saying, you know, the importance of delivering in a health facility than delivering at home. 
With people returning to health centers, schools, fields and jobs, countries are reigniting their economies and rebuilding their countries. Guinea, Liberia and Sierra Leone are on the road to recovery and to a more resilient future. Together, let's ensure that these countries rebuild stronger than ever and that a crisis like this one never happens again.